some of the comments that you left around constructive feedback from clients, I'm going to ask about some of these specific scenarios. And sometimes what I'm looking for as well is like how common this stuff is because one-off stuff happens for everybody. And particularly when you're doing, you know, five, sometimes more clients a week, like you're just going to have stuff happen. I don't worry that much about one-off stuff, but I do consider repetitive comments. Things yeah, that I, I actually thought you were going to say that, and that's why you're going to ask about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's I'm going to ask about some of these things, and I'm going to ask some questions about like that, like is it repetitive or just a one-off? If it's a one-off, then whatever. Um, and then there's some other stuff that I have some thoughts on. Okay. So you made a comment about you've had a few clients make remarks when they're paying about, oh, yeah, that's what you really care about, of course. Yeah, How and I don't is know that? why, because I, I didn't think I asked it in, like, a professional or bitchy way. I always try <laughs> to, like, so, you know, make it as courteous and playful as possible. I, at least I, try, I, 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 I think about, like, you know, putting, you know, the, 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 they don't want it to feel paid, you know. Mm. So is it a common comment from clients or is it just like every now and then someone says a shitty comment? It's it's always clients who book half an hour, um, which in most of my bookings, to be honest. it's Yeah, it's always, always clients who book half an hour or were like, you know, questioning the price. Um, mm. But how I ask for it, I usually... I'll, I'll say cash or card as if I don't know like what they're paying or I'll be like, oh, you're paying cash, hey. Um, I won't count it in front of them unless they, they count it in front of me and I'll put it to the side and then I'll count it when they have a shower like you suggest. Mm-hmm. Um, and sometimes I'll, um, like, if you know how they, they just, but if you know when it's nice and you don't need to ask and they'll, they'll say, oh, 500, right? And... Mm-hmm. Oh, I'll be like, yes, please. May as well get it uh, out of. Yes, may as well get it out of the way so we can get to the fun business. Like you know, try, try to get the money quick so he doesn't need to worry about it. But yeah, mm-hmm. when it happens, it happens often. But it's always clients who either are paying not very much for the booking or were previously trying to like discard my rates. Okay. So the clients who book for longer or who don't do price resistance, they don't tend to make these comments? No. Okay. All right. What you – or have you tried with these shorter bookings? And, look, this is stuff that we're going to be seeking to resolve at a larger, like a broader view with our marketing. But for the moment, while you're still taking these bookings, have you ever tried telling them in advance in the text, when you arrive, please have the money in an envelope and pass to me discreetly so we can get the business out of the way. Have you ever tried that and seen if that decreases them fucking around with the money at the beginning? Um, n- no. And I think the reason for that is um, because I don't. I actually don't feel like some will come if they have to get an envelope if they don't have one. Well, like I think they'll come, but I feel like they'll see it as an extra hassle. Um. Mm. Because I really feel like I'm just running a shop in my apartment. Like, but I could put a note, like, I'll leave it on the counter. But I also accept, like, some will ask if I accept digital payments. So mm-hmm. it's a bit awkward when, like, they don't have cash. They want to pay, like, via my phone, like, banking up or whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, so I don't know what to do in that situation. Okay. But to I answer your question, no, I don't have a note about um, like how how they pay unless they directly ask. Okay. Overall, I really think it's really just the quality of the client, and probably like some of the, like what I just suggested is maybe like a one percenter that will get maybe one in ten of these guys to be a bit more courteous. I don't really think it's you or how you're handling the situation. 
I didn't <laughs> think it was me, but I thought I'd mention it because I'm like, I'm, I'm so lovely to some of these fuckheads. <laughs> like, I don't want to call them fuckheads. Like, they're, like you know, they clean and respect my boundaries mm. for, for the most part. But, like, they're just so, 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 these guys are so rude to me. I'm like, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I'm certainly <laughs> seeing, like, from some of your comments, it sounds like there's some guys that are coming that are really pretty disrespectful. Yeah. Like, they're respectful, like, in terms of they don't try to fuck with the condom and shit like that, but they're mm. just disrespectful in, like, how they talk to me. Mm. Yep, I feel you. Okay. All right, look, our goal is to just not have to deal with these people. Um, but, yeah, my feedback on your process that you've just described is you're doing nothing wrong. Yeah. Thank you. That, that's good validation for me. If you want to learn more escorting tips, just click the link below this video.